Well, farmland assessment has always been one of our priorities and, and is key to our members, and it continues to go up. And whether you, it, it's just a, a part of our expense portfolio, you might say. Uh, taxes is always hard, input costs, et cetera. They continue to grow. You know, you raise a good point. Uh, this is a great year for local communities to consider freezing or lowering their property taxes. You know that those are controlled at the local level. And so I encourage uh, communities locally to make that decision. Why is this a good year to do that? Schools received not only increased funding from the state of Illinois, but received a, a, a boatload of support from the federal government as well. And they also received a lot of support for local infrastructure, again, from the state of Illinois as well as from the federal government. Those are things that take local property taxes typically to pay for them. Uh, so what a great moment for people to lower property taxes across the state. With regard to the other $3.5 trillion infrastructure, we have concerns about the pay, work, pay forward, how that's going to be established. There's, there's a lot of conversations going on that they will take away stepped up basis, change the, the uh, uh, deductions on, an, on the estate taxes. That is really hard for our members. We've worked hard and long. We've paid taxes on that property. We've paid for that farm. And then we want to pass that farm on to the next generation. Same as small business in the rural communities. We need to have that opportunity to do that. It would be costly and expensive for the next generation uh, if we lose that stepped up basis. We're about to come on to harvest right now, where there's going to be a big demand for electricity to run the dryers, the fans, et cetera, et cetera. But year round, we need dependable, affordable electricity for our livestock farms to run the fans and the buildings, and just around the farm everywhere, and for our citizens all across the state of Illinois. It's important to have reliable, affordable electricity. If they are, that is closed in 30, 30, 2035, they have to continue to pay for that. And where do those dollars go? They come back to the farm gate or to consumers' houses uh, to pay for those uh, bonds in, the, in payment of that power plant. Uh, I've spoken with a number of people who are, have said they're opposed to the energy bill because they're concerned about those coal plants closing who don't seem to understand that these are not coal plants that are closing tomorrow, um, that there's 24 years potentially to the, for those coal plants to remain open. Having said that, like I said, um, there were a year and a quarter of these uh, working groups that got together, lots of uh, discussion, disagreement, compromise that was reached. It's clear that not everybody got what they wanted. In fact, that's sort of the definition of compromise is you have to give up a little something on your side. Other people on the other side have to give up a little something in order that you can meet in the middle.